I'm trying to do this video for you so you know how to use dilutions and other uh, water-based media underneath other layers, other wet layers. So I started with, this had acrylic paint on it, it had dried, this is an iCAD that I'd started, and I sprayed two different colors of dilutions, I want to say the After Midnight and Calypso Teal or Vibrant Turquoise, one of those. So then I just mopped it up with another one, and look at how that came out with the green, oh that made me happy. That lime green came out good. So I'm just taking my book now, uh, my art journal, and just squishing it all over and sopping up all the rest of that ink. I, I don't like wasting that much ink. A little bit here and there is not a big deal, but that's a lot of ink. That covered almost that whole page. So now I'm just drying it. Uh, this is the question I get probably the most. And sorry about the lighting change. I realized at that point that I hadn't turned on my yeah my light. So <laughs> um, I had done this whole thing in real time and voiced it over and everything, but I didn't like how I sounded. Like I kind of sound sleepy now, but I was really bad then. So I was like, eh, we'll we'll voice it over. So I'm just taking a Heidi Swap stencil and a little bit of the uh, black marble dilutions, and I'm throwing it on top, mopping up a little bit more with the book. And um, the reason I did this stencil on here was because I wanted you to see that it wasn't going to run. Um, so a lot of times when you have shapes in those water-based colors, they tend to run. Um, and it's harder to tell if you just have a background made of those colors. But oh, look at how happy that made me. Oh, I love that that card so far. Um, so, yeah, this is seriously the question I get the most from everybody is how do you stop your dilutions from running or distressing? And the answer is a spray acrylic sealer. Um, and this one is made by Plaid. As you can tell, I'm talking, 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 blah, 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 blah. But I left the footage in so I could, you know, talk, 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 blah, blah, blah to you now. So this is this is one by Plaid. You can use Krylon. You could use really any brand. Um, and I did lots of lecturing about not spraying indoors. So then, of course, I turned around and sprayed indoors. Um, yeah. So this I put two layers on, and then I dried it with the heat gun in between. So as you can see, it kind of makes the uh, acrylic paint stand out a little bit. But... Um, the nice thing about the mist is that it's so fine it doesn't do enough to the inks to reactivate them. And I did two layers so that way if the dilutions mix with the first layer a little bit, the second layer wouldn't um, mix with them. And then if you look, I'm spraying water directly on onto this. Sorry, it went a little off screen. There we go. So I'm spraying water directly on to this card to show you that nothing is coming off. Um, I think a little bit might have you know, kind of leaked through, but it doesn't change the look of the card. I didn't get any water spots. Um, like I said, I think some of it just kind of adheres to that spray acrylic sealer. So um, this is how you seal your dilutions in so you can work over the top of them. So now from here you could add regular gesso, you know, paint, you can do whatever you want and not worry about your dilution background going away. So I hope this little tip helped all of you out there. Um, and make sure you spray outdoors. Don't be like me. So anyways, I'll see you all soon. Talk to you later. Bye.